Uh, welcome to uh, Arthur Brown Photography. Uh, in our last video, um, I was talking about the um, Yong Nuo YN14 ring flashlight. And uh, this is a, a specialist um, flash gun that's used for close-up photography uh, using macro lenses. Uh, today, I'm going to look at, look at it in, in some more detail, uh, showing you how, how, it, uh, how it fits the lens, how it fits the camera, uh, how I set the camera up, and uh, also then uh, to look at uh, taking some, uh, some photographs and, and show you some examples of uh, close-up photographs I've taken uh, using one of my macro lenses and the, uh, the Young Nuo uh, ring light. Today also I'm going to be using a couple of macro lenses. Uh, first one is the, um, the Sigma uh, 105mm f2.8. And, uh, this is a, a fairly common macro lens uh, and it's, it's fairly reasonably priced as well. So it's, it's one that's quite well used um, by photographers. And the other one I'm going to, uh, going to be uh, looking at is the Voigtlander 90mm f3.5. Now, this is quite an unusual lens. Um, these are no longer in production. It, it's when used as a, a 90 millimeter lens uh, like this. It's, it's probably by far the sharpest lens that I've got uh, in my collection of lenses. To be honest, it's uh, uh, 90 millimeters is fairly good for portraits and also for uh, some types of landscape photography as well. Um, but where this this, this um, lens really excels is uh, in its in its macro facility now. Uh, it has a, a quite a good close up close focus anyway, um, but the uh, the, the Voigtlander lens actually comes with a, a close up lens attachment which screws to the front of it, uh, and then I, I put an adapter on this so that I can fit the um, the ring that takes the uh, the ring flash. Right, so let's uh, let's look at these uh, in, in some more detail. Right, the young Nuo flash itself is made up of, of two parts. We've got the um, First of all, we've got the uh, the flash unit itself, uh, and that's connected by a cable to the um, the flash ring. Now that flash ring uh, fits onto the front of your lens uh, and faces in that direction. Uh, on the rear of the lens is some some claws which are released by the the buttons at the side, and these uh, clip onto a an adapter ring. Uh, and there's a, there's a number of these supplied in different sizes, so it's a matter of Put that on the front of the front of the lens. Uh, it screws into the filter thread and just clips in like that. So on the uh, the, the flash gun itself, um, it's fairly similar to a, 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 any other type of uh, hot shoe flash. Uh, turn it on uh, and it'll charge up in a second. Um, with this, you can. Uh, have various modes on it. You can have um, the ETTL mode for because uh, this is a, a, a dedicated Canon one. Although, as I said before, you can get them for Nikon no, and for other camera makes. Um, but this has the uh, ETTL. But you can also set it to manual, and then you can have various uh, flash strengths. Yeah, 32nd, 164th, one to one, one to two. You know, so you can uh, you can go all the way through from. Full flash to uh, one sixty fourth. So it's uh, you can also um, set the uh, uh, a different uh, different ratio for the flash for for each of the two there's two sides because there's two two actually two flash um, bulb units within the um, uh, within the the front of this. And you can see one on each side, and uh, you can actually change the ratio of those uh, if you wanted to light one side of a subject more than the other. There's also um, uh, modelling lamps as well, LED modelling lamps, which are quite handy if you're working in poor light conditions, working in the dark, or even just to just to help with focusing. Um, and you can even put those on when you when you need them. In addition, there's a the pilot light here on the back, uh, glows red, and then you actually press the pilot light to uh, to to test the flash. Like that, so. Right. In terms of actually fitting the uh, the flash gun to to a lens, uh, here I've got the uh, the Sigma 105 macro, uh, and this has a a, a 58 millimeter front thread, front filter thread. So I take the the 58 millimeter ring, uh, and this just screws to the front as if it was a filter. 
Okay, and then take the um, this part of the lens, turn it around, press the two buttons at either side, fit that in, release the buttons, and the uh, the flash head is actually now attached to the lens and ready for use. The main flash body here attaches to the camera hot shoe uh, in just the same way as you would uh, with any other uh, hot shoe flash. All right, there we go. Just test that. Um, let's hold down the on off button. To turn it off. Right, let's go out and, uh, and actually take some uh, some pictures with this. First, I fit the uh, flash unit to the uh, camera hot shoe, and then fix the uh, ring flash unit to the uh, ring uh, on the front of the lens. Switch on the camera. Switch on the flash gun. You can hear a beep when it uh, when it's actually charged. Test the flash. Well, I started off with some uh, some new uh, uh, leaf growth on the hedge. Uh, some nice young leaves. You can see, uh, say, you've got some nice detail here of the of the hairs on the edge of the leaf. Uh, you'll see that, um, despite being a bright day, uh, using a very uh, f22 and and the flash uh, actually gives you quite a nice um, black background to the um, uh, to the macro shot itself. Uh, and we're going on to uh, some kind of ivy looking stuff here. Well, it's got some nice um, some nice berries on it, so. I uh, went in for a close-up uh, on the berries, as you can see here. Again, nice detail, nice colour. Again, nice detail, nice colour, nice out-of-focus dark background. Uh, there's some more leaf growth. Uh, springtime uh, in the UK now, so we're getting nice new leaves on all the trees. So, got some nice buds. Again, look at the detail, look at the hairs on the leaves. Uh, Fix the detail out. Right, got some flowers now. Uh, some nice spring daffodils. Uh, going in for a close shot here. Uh, you can see the actual uh, stamens and bits and pieces inside the flower. I've got another shot here, uh, which actually shows the, uh, the the large quantity of pollen that the uh, the flower produces. But again, detail. Right, onto some primulas. Uh, nice, a nice yellow one here. Close up. Again, you can see all the. Uh, stamens and bits inside the flower. A nice pink one. Again, plenty of detail, plenty of colour. Uh, I've spotted some dried teasels these are from last year. Uh, and you can see again uh, a nice black background but the level of detail and you can see uh, very fine um, cobwebs that the um, uh, spiders have uh, woven around the teasels. Again there's another shot here of teasels. So. Right, setting the camera. So go into flash control, and then go into external flash function setting. Press. Uh, then you go this into the um, come the flash mode. So if you press this, you've got either ETTL through the lens or manual. So choose ETTL. Press set to get back to the menu. Uh, I find that. Uh, it does uh, the, the ring flash if you close up does overexpose a bit. So if you go into the flash exposure control, um, and I found for the work I was doing there in a fairly, on a fairly bright day, uh, minus uh, two stops of uh, flash compensation. Uh, press then set to uh, uh, get back to the so set that and get back to the menu. Uh, the lenses themselves this is the Sigma 105 f2.8, and you can see uh, it's got uh, autofocus on it. Uh, and a full limit autofocus control. But you can see that the barrel does wind out quite a long way uh, and there's, there's a guide showing you the different magnifications going from 1 to 1 uh, to 1 to 4. Uh, you get slightly close fo more fl closer focus with the autofocus. Uh, you can see it's got quite a deep re recess. Uh, this is the uh, the Voigtlander uh, Apolanthar 90mm um, f3.5. Very sharp lens. Uh, quite quite close focus, but it actually comes with a, um, a macro lens with it, which uh, which uh, screws into the front. There's an adapter which goes in first, which reduces the size slightly of the uh, uh, of the opening, and then there's a small. Now there isn't a huge magnification on this lens when you look through it, but it, it does actually provide a, a much closer focus uh, for the lens uh, itself. And that 
couple of screws into the front there. So. That's also made by Vortlander. Right, here's some uh, some photos done with uh, with this equipment uh, as a frog, butterfly. Uh, there's some close up of some jewellery. This is the kind of product photograph photography I do. Uh, this is ice on a car windscreen, very close up to the ice crystals. Uh, frozen drop of water underneath a gate. Uh, again, um, with some new leaf growth. Uh, some more leaf growth with a purple flower coming out of it. Again, the detail in the hairs. Again, this is a, a succulent plant with a hairy edge for catching insects, one presumes. It's a dandelion just about to uh, to flower. And you know, for the people who, uh, who um, are frightened of spiders, here's a good one. Here's an even more frightening one. And this is the worst for the last. Oh, thank you very much for... Um, for watching this uh, thank you uh, for tuning into Arthur Brown Photography and remember to like to comment and subscribe thank you and goodbye